welcome all of you to my channel hope you are well and good guys take care of yourself and your family uh, keep yourself active in various activities okay hope you will be um, take care of yourself in this video we are going to discuss about question paper of forensic science exam for assistant chemical analyzer Okay, so let us start from question number 31. The emission of radiation of single wavelength corresponding to a definite energy transition is known as the options. Option 1, spectral lines. Option 2, band lines. Option 3, lines reversal. And option 4, discrete spectra lines. So here the emission of radiation of single wavelength corresponding to definite energy transition is known as the spectral line. Option 1 is the right option. Next question. Which is made up of series of closely spaced lines and is due to molecular spaces in the vapor state? Option 1. Line spectra, band spectra, third emission spectra and fourth absorption, adsorption spectra. Uh, the series of closely spaced lines due to molecular spaces is known as a band spectra. Option second is right option. Next question. An indifferent electrolyte used in direct current polarography means options first, which neither conduct current nor react with material under investigation and electrode. Option second, which conduct current but does not react with electrode and material. Option third, which does not conduct current but react with electrode. And option four, which does not conduct current but react with material under investigation. Here, uh, different electrolyte used in uh, direct current polarography is one which conduct current but does not react with electrode and material. Option second is right option. Next question. According to Icovic, the diffusion current ID depends upon option first temperature, second viscosity of medium and molecular or ionic state of active species, option third the dimension of capillary and pressure of dropping mercury, and option four all of the above. Here, if we know the Icovic equation, diffusion current is proportional to all of the above factors. Option four is the right option. Next question. The diffusion current is proportional to option 1 decomposition potential, second residual current, third concentration of electrolytic solution, and four concentration of electroactive material present in the solution. In polarography, diffusion current is proportional to concentration of electroactive material present in the solution. Next question. In amphorometric titration of an iodide solution, with mercury second nitrate solution, the magnitude of anodic diffusion current is option 1 decreases up to the end point, option 2 till all the active material is reduced, option 3 increases as the titration proceeds and option 4 reaches to its maximum. Here uh, iodide solution and mercury nitrate solution both are reducing solution. So if you observe the graph, then it is, um, we say that the diffusion, um, magnitude of anodic diffusion current is decreases up to the end point. Option 1 is the right option. Next question. In stripping voltammetry during electrolysis, certain processes give rise to spaces which form an insoluble salt with mercury first ion in the subsequent processes the voltage scan must be in the negative direction and so that procedure is referred to as option one cathodic stripping voltammetry second anodic stripping voltammetry third dropping mercury voltammetry and four none of the above here right option is cathodic stripping voltammetry next question Thin layer chromatography is based on option first absorption, option second adsorption, third solubility and fourth fractional distillation. We know that thin layer chromatography is based on the adsorption principle. Option second is the right option. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द इफिशियंसी ऑफ कॉलम इन फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन कैन बी इंक्रीज बाय इंक्रीजिंग ऑप्शन फर्स्ट नंबर ऑफ बल्ब इन द कॉलम सेकंड लेंथ ऑफ द कॉलम एंड विड ऑफ द कॉलम थर्ड विड ऑफ द कॉलम एंड फोर ऑल ऑफ द हब हियर इफिशियंसी ऑफ कॉलम इन फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन विच इज मेथड ऑफ प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ वाटर इफिशियंसी कैन बी इंक्रीज बाय इंक्रीजिंग ऑल द अब फैक्टर्स ऑप्शन फोर इज द राइट ऑप्शन एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोपी प्रोवाइड मॉर्फोलॉजिकल एंड टोपोग्राफिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ऑप्शन फर्स्ट द सर्फेस ऑफ लिक्विड सेकेंड द सर्फेस ऑफ सॉलिड थर्ड द सर्फेस ऑफ गैस and for all of the book we know that scanning electron microscopy provide morphological and topographic information about the surface of solid option second is right option okay thank you for watching my video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe my video channel take care